Previously we have watched how Yung Wan and Du He were following Kyung and were about to get captured by him. Now let's continue. Du Kyung slowly slowly steps towards the photo booth. Both of them get agitated as Yung Wan fails to use his magic powers. He suddenly grabs Du He and kisses her. Du Kyung checks to find two couples kissing and walks away. Yung Wan tells her he had no other options and had to kiss her, but Du He seemed to have liked it. After that, Yung Wan collects the pictures of them from the booth. And then a beggar woman approaches them. She asks for money. Yung Wan grabs Du He's hand and leaves. But the woman seems to know something about Yung Wan and warns him that he's going to lose his powers. Outside, Yung Wan asks for her wrist as he wants to try his powers. He makes the flower bloom and gets happy to know his powers are working just fine. But later, the flower dies. After reaching home, the two start arguing with each other. Yung Wan is angry that ever since he has met her, his powers have started flickering and they don't even work sometimes. Elsewhere, Ju Suk is on his investigation to find Yung Wan's background, as he's going through a bunch of old photographs and notices Yung Wan in one of them. Somewhere else, Yung Wan brings his stuff in Du He's house, which she isn't so happy about. She gets angry as she can't live in a cramped place filed with necessary stuff and kicks him out. Later, she gets a call from Ju Suk. He meets with her and tells her how he has found him in an old photograph, which is very unusual and concerning. But since Du He already knows about Yung Wan, she tries to make up excuses saying he's actually Yung Wan's grandfather. Elsewhere, Jingda is out all drunk. She's upset about Yung Wan and Du He getting married. She suddenly trips and injures her leg, which reminded her of the time when she was hiding from her drunk father and how Yung Wan came as an angel to save her. Yung Wan has appeared there to collect his soul as per the contract he signed 10 years ago and kills him with a heart attack as Jingda watches. Jinga is really upset then some guys try to hit on her, but she refused to do as they please then they try to hit her but Yung Wan comes and saves her, Jinga gets happy to see him. Later, Du He gets a call from Miss Shin, and she gets to know that she has been framed for killing Madame Ju for her property. She goes to meet with Noah since she knows it's him behind all this fake news, she reminds him that she also knows one of his secrets that he has previously killed someone. As she leaves, Noah points his gun towards her and shoots. Yung Wan comes inside to check. Noah asks them to be careful since the war between them has started. Later, Park informs Yung Wan that his demon book has gone missing. Yung Wan goes there and tries to look for it, but couldn't find it. Meanwhile, the mastermind behind all this has gotten his hands on it and now knows all his secrets. He informs the killer Gwang if he kills Yung Wan, he can become the demon himself. Later, Du He hears the doorbell and finds the cop outside her apartment. She gets arrested for killing Madame Ju. Killer Gwang informs Du Kyung that he has started the monster hunt. Meanwhile, Yung Won gets informed about Du He getting arrested. He gets startled and quickly runs outside but then suddenly bumps into Gwang, who has stabbed him in the chest. Yung Won falls to the ground and Gwang pushes the knife deep into his chest. As Gwang was about to stab him again, Mr. Park comes. Gwang's face mask gets removed and Young Wan sees his real face as he runs away. Meanwhile, Du He gets to know about Young Wan. She begs them to let her go and see Young Wan. Young Wan gets hospitalized. After a while, doctors inform Mr. Park that he might not be able to make it. However, Du He is on her way and gets to the hospital. Jinga blames Du He for all this. Park takes her outside. Du He folds his hand around her wrist in hopes of him getting healed. But as he doesn't respond, she gets upset and cries. But he slowly wakes up. Do he gets happy to see him alive. Meanwhile, Jinga is upset. She couldn't shake of the thought of another woman being so close to Yung Wan, and she hates her for stealing him from her. Later in the morning, Yung Soon the gang leader sends flowers to Yung Wan. He has decided to make Yung Wan their new boss and take over the world with his demonic powers. But Yung Wan is not interested. After that, Do he comes to meet with him, he asks her to take him home since he wants to spend his time with her. Elsewhere, Du Kyung gets a message from Killer Gwang that his life is in danger since Yung Won has seen his face. Somewhere else, Yung Won figures out that the killer knows his secret, thus the reason he was hiding his face from him. Right then Jinga comes and hugs him as Du He notices. She tells him how he has started to become more and more like a human because of that Du He and has completely fallen in love with her. 
and warns her this is not going to end well for him. Later, as they were heading towards the meeting they meet with Duke Young, he tries to be friendly with them and asks Young Wan to leave her side if he wants to stay alive as everyone close to her has died already. Young Wan asks Du He if he can beat him up but she asks to ignore him, they head to the meeting room where the candidates will be voted for chairman of the group. As their voting begins Du He interrupts them. She makes an announcement that she's withdrawing from the chairman's candidacy to stop any further disputes among them. Young Wan isn't happy with her decision to give up everything after all her hardships. But Du He is determined now, since she wants to live a normal life, then she also frees him from duty. She adds how she feels unsafe around him now to make him hate her, and leaves from there, while Du Qian watches from above. After that, Killer Guang is confused as to why isn't the demon coming after his life after seeing his face. Then he gets a message from Du Qian, informing him how Yung Wan is having some problems with his powers. Elsewhere, Yung Wan couldn't understand her reasons for leaving him and giving up everything all of a sudden. Elsewhere, Du He is also upset. She goes to Madame Ju's garden, and Yung Wan comes there. He couldn't stay away from her and asks her what's on her mind. Do he tells how scared she is to know everyone she loved has died because of her, and she's scared to lose Yung Wan. But Yung Wan doesn't care. He quickly goes up to her and kisses her. Then he holds her hand and uses magic to stop the water midair. Do he gets happy to know that his powers are back. Later, they go back home where they spend their precious time together. In the morning, Yum Wan suggests to go on a date together, and they spend their time out enjoying themselves all day like a lovely couple. Elsewhere, Guang is waiting for the moment to attack. Meanwhile somewhere else, Yum Wan wants to hunt down the killer since he got his powers back, but Du He stops him, and says that she doesn't want to start this again, but Yum Wan insists her to at least see the killer's real face. Do he gives up and agrees, he grabs her wrist to teleport to him, but he couldn't use his powers. Then Ju Suk arrives there and sees them together. Later, Yum Wan takes help from the cops and manages to get the killer Gwen's face drawn. Elsewhere, the gang has taken over Yum Wan's house. Park calls Yum Wan to come and get them out. Yum Wan comes and asks them to leave from there and not to call him their boss again. But they are determined to make him their boss. Yum Wan then asks them to do something for them. He gives them the sketch of Gwang to catch him. Later, Yum Wan gets a call from Du He. He goes to her and finds her all drunk with Miss Shin. He calls Park to take Miss Shin home and takes Du He home. Meanwhile, Park is hardly able to handle Miss Shin since she won't tell him her house address. During this, the gang is on an absolute hunt to find Gwang as their last chance to impress Yum Wan. Elsewhere, the cops are analyzing their database and finds Gwang. Somewhere else, Wang is again plotting something new, as he gets inside. He finds the mystery man standing afar, as he starts to talk about how he's not a killer for doing all this but a good guy instead, the man comes from behind and tries to choke with a wire, and we get to know the mystery mastermind is Mr. Noah Sook. As he leaves, Wang runs inside his basement, and Noah uses the kerosene burns the place. After that we get to know that it was him who killed Madame Ju, his own mother. Later, Du He and Yung Wan gets a call from the cops that they have tracked down the killer's location. The cops gets inside his hideout to find him all burned up and brutally abused. They meet with Du He and Yung Wan where they get to know from the cops that someone abused him and struck a knife straight into his heart like he wanted to leave a message. Yung Wan realizes something and leaves from there. He starts searching his house and finds a mic under his desk and figures out that someone was ordering Wang and killed him because Yung Wan saw his face. Then he notices that all the contract clocks have stopped, and he understands that he has completely lost his powers. He goes to the beggar woman, since he thinks she knows something he doesn't. The woman smiles and takes him to a casino, where Yung Wan learns that she's actually the god who gave him his powers. He asks her to return his powers. The woman says that she hasn't taken it away from him. It's just that his powers have faded away since it's in someone else's body. And the only way of getting the powers back is by killing her. Thanks for watching till the end. Do check my channel for more episodes and comment down your thoughts.